What up, fam? Welcome to Powerlifting for Distance Runners. This is what I do. Make sure you guys are clear by a qualified healthcare provider before you delve down to this routine. It is a little strenuous on the body. You can hurt yourself if you don't do it right. So basically what powerlifting is, is that you are lifting at 85 to 100 percent your one rep max. Look up a video on YouTube to figure out your one rep max. You're doing three to four sets, four to six reps with a full recovery in between each. I'm doing a hex bar deadlift here. What you want to do is make sure the bars are underneath you. Underneath your center of mass, you want to keep your back isometrically contracted and you're just going to come on up using your glutes, your quads, and your hammies and the pelvic thrust forward when you get to the top of the rep. You don't want to overdo it, delve into it slowly and make sure you brace your core. And you also want to make sure that your spine is neutral, neck to mid back to low back as if you were to have a bar down in the middle of your back. Next we got the rear arm row. Focus on driving the arm back as if you're running pretty hard or sprinting. Try to focus on using the mid-back muscle, the rhomboid muscles and muscles of the shoulder girdle. Chest press is next fam. I do it at 30 degrees to align with the fibers of the pec muscles. Um, and basically you're just driving forward as if you were using a bench press machine or bench press. Next is the hip hike, one of my favorites. Basically, you're gonna place yourself into like a marching position with one leg up, working on that side first. I'm working on the left side first here. And what we're doing is basically using the stance leg butt muscle, the glute med, to raise the opposite's floating hip up. Check out my other video on strength training for distance runners. It's best to maximize efficiency with this, doing it with body weight and light weight before you get into heavy lifting. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of struggle here but uh, it comes with time. Some of you at home may be like, well, would I not want to lift heavy as a distance runner and put on mass, wouldn't that slow me down? When we're lifting this way, what we're doing is we're training the body to recruit as many muscle fibers with each contraction forcefully, and not like your bodybuilder where they're lifting heavy in a sequential pattern, tearing muscle fibers so they build more muscle, have more hypertrophy. It's the full recovery that's key here. And number of reps. Genetics and caloric intake also play a role into muscle hypertrophy and growth. Next, we got the back squat. Basically, what we're gonna do is take the bar, put it over your shoulders, doing a similar motion to what we did with a hex bar deadlift. We're gonna squat down to about 45 degrees, no reason to go to 90 or butt to ground. Make sure your feet are about shoulder width apart. Make sure your spine is neutral, as if you were to put a bar down your back, your neck, your mid back, and low back would all line up. And you can look into a mirror to make sure your form is good and just go through the motion. Next we got the calf raise. I usually do these workouts barefoot or with socks on and toast players, but you know, it's a gym setting and all the stuff going on right now, I decided to wear shoes. I had the plates to offset the heel to toe offset of the shoe to have more calf activation. So basically I'm just forcefully doing a calf raise upward with weights on each side. Next, we got the standing torso rotation. Your body's always trying to reach equilibrium and an X, Y, and Z axis while it's running. So you want to strengthen the muscles that help stabilize the core. And that's what we're doing here. Make sure you brace your core as you're going through the motion and keeping motion at the abs and obliques and not using like your whole body to do the motion. Next, we got the single leg deadlift. This is a really good exercise to build power and drive through that single leg. So basically what I got is the weight in the hand on the leg that goes back. I'm teeter-tottering from the waist and keeping the spine neutral, embracing my core and really pulling through that drive of running type phase. And when I get to that top, I'm actually clenching my butt cheek. This type of lifting should come not in the midst of general training or specific training for your event. I like to do this towards the end of the base building phase and maybe through a lot of the speed phase and slowly pull away from it to about one time a week just to maintain the fitness that you've gained from these sessions. Your body can hold that for about six weeks doing it one time a week.
Remember, the law of specificity. You want to do movements that would mimic your sport as close as possible, and our sport on this channel is running. So a lot of the exercises that we're doing here, aside from the chest press, I believe are pretty close to the act of running, whether it be on a single leg or a drive phase or where the arms go and whatnot, and that's what you're trying to achieve. Full recovery that I take in between sets is about three minutes. Listen to your body, you'll know when you're ready, but three minutes is how long I wait until I do that same exercise again. Save time in the gym so you're not there forever. I kind of do exercises that aren't the same muscle group. So like for example, I'll do the hex bar deadlift and then move into the chest press and then into the rearm row. And that's how I time manage when I'm in the gym doing these exercises. Otherwise you'd be there forever. You also want to make sure you're not flying all over the place with these, like an airplane or opening up the hips. You want to keep looking straight ahead. It helps to be in front of a mirror and driving through with that stance leg and clenching that glute when you get to the top. If you feel yourself starting at sloppy, don't go through the rep, just reset and start that rep over. Next, we got a modified good morning. We don't want to forget the low back muscles, don't we? We've focused on strengthening the glutes and the hammies, but we can't forget the erector spinae muscles in the low back. So basically what you can do is brace your core, keep your spine neutral. You're gonna pick up with your knees locked or slightly bent using your low back muscles to extend and raise that weight up with the arms also locked and straight. You're using your low back primarily for this exercise. And last, we got the soleus calf raise. In order to target the soleus, your knee has to be bent. So basically, I take a weight, put it on top of the knee, and I pump the ankle. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed my powerlifting video for runners. Comment down below if you guys got any questions. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for when I post my next video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.